Hey, everybody. I just wanted to uh, share this wonderful moment with you. Um, and I just want to wait until a few more people are on so I can I can do this. But um, So we're going to wait and see a little bit. But there's some good news is that um, there's a new arrival today in our family. And hopefully there's going to be... Oh, there's three people watching. Hi, three people. Hi, Leah. Oh, it's so wonderful to know that you're here. I hope you're feeling well today. Um, what I wanted, oh, there's 15 people watching. Hi, Mark. What I wanted to say is, these arrived today. It's actually a real book. Look, with real pages. I can't believe that it's done. It's actually here. And it's going to be in your hands. Hi, Gabby. Hey, Mark. And they're going to be in your hands shortly. Um, thanks, Gabby. I, uh, this is stupid because the one's not here. So I thought I would share this with you guys. Hi, Helene. Helene Spivak, by the way, is the first person in advertising to give me a job. She recognized that I could be a writer. So thank you, Helene. Hey, Jeremy, thanks. So it's here and uh, for all of you people who think that you wanna write a book and that you, um, hey, Denise. Hey, hi, Michelle. And that maybe you can't write a book. I can assure you, you can. Hey, Mike, I can assure you that you can. And I can assure you that if you work hard enough and you work on your craft, hey, Kevin, thank you. You will succeed. You will get it out there. Who knows? I have no idea what the, uh, the public is going to think of this, what you're going to think of this. My hair looks awful. Why is it that I do these fucking Facebook things and my hair always looks horrible? Um, hey, Susan. Um, but I just want to say to my writer friends, I want to get this up there and say, yay. It's even the color blue is even gorgeous. I mean, I didn't think they were going to pull off this real neon -y blue, but they really pulled it off. Hi, Jamie. Hey, Elise. But to those writers out there, I just want you to hang on to hope. I really do, because I didn't think this book would ever, ever get written. Who cares about a fat old queer who likes food? I mean, honestly. Um... Thanks, Mark. I just got your private message. But apparently people do care about fat old queers who like food. We're not forgotten, which means everyone has a story. Everyone has their own story to tell. And uh, I just want you all to hang in there. And uh, those who love to write, continue writing. Hey, Cindy. Thank you so much. And for those who just like reading stories, please keep reading. For those of us who write them, because we need that. We need readers. Um, hey, Jamie. It is a beautiful day. And I am brimming with a lot of hope. And um, I just want to read the... Um, I can't even think. Oops. I want to read the, uh, acknowledge, the acknowledgments. Whew, the dedication. Because I think it's really important. Oh, there's a note from my... There's a note. Oh, it's from my editor. <laughs> from Denise Oswald, my editor. She wrote... Dear David, can you believe the day has finally come? The book looks great. It does. Mumtaz, who was the book designer, did an incredible job. And Joel Holland, who did the uh, lettering, did a great job. Hi, Roy. Thanks. Thanks, Gary. Um, so she continues, the book looks great, and more importantly, it reads amazingly. Congratulations, D. Um, and so anyway, the, I want to read the... A dedication, because it's just, I think, very important. Um, it says, to Alan the One. So that's his name now, and you're even going to know his last name in the book when you read it. So for Alan the One, you are my bomb, my net, my heart. Thanks, Catherine. And for my parents, I'm still here because, thankfully, the banana didn't fall too far from the tree. So, I don't know. I mean, I just, uh, 
I don't know what to say. <laughs> Harper Collins has been amazing. My editor has been great to the people um, at Harper. Have been great. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Elaine. Um, and I want to thank everyone who really worked on this book. Everyone who uh, who just kept on telling me to do this. Hey, Trevor. Thank you. Um, you know, I mean, you guys don't always know the stuff behind these things. I um, I wanted to give up so many times. I wanted to give up on this book. And thank you, Andrew Rocco. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in Florida, too. Hi, Laura and Kevin. Um, I really wanted to give up on this book. I just, I didn't think that I could write it. I didn't, I'd never written a memoir before. And to write one that's 300 and friggin' 84 pages is extraordinarily hard to do. And I wanted to give up so many times, and I didn't. And I had some amazing support from friends, fellow students. My hand's shaking, sorry. It's just, it's hard to hold this thing up for a long time. Uh, Marion Roach Smith was a, a great teacher uh, in our class. And I had friends. I had my writing group of Cindy Eastman, who was just on wishing me wonderful things, and my friend, our friend Trudy. And... So anyway, I just want to, I feel like I'm giving the Academy Award speech, but I just wanted to to thank everyone. Hey, Laura. Uh, and I don't know, if you guys have, hey, Mumtaz, I just, I was just talking about you. Look how beautiful it is. I can't believe you got the color to be so neon. Thank you so much, Mumtaz Mustafa. Thank you so much for making the book so incredibly beautiful. Uh. Oh, I'm such a wuss. I'm so sorry. I still look awful. God damn it. Why the fuck don't these things come with hairstylists? These Facebook Live things. Uh, thanks, Shelly, and thanks, Monica. Um, let me try this side. Maybe this side will look better. Oh, anyway, um, I don't want to keep you guys too long. I mean, hey, Beth, thank you. But um, it's here. And for those of you who want to pre-order... And this isn't a sales pitch, but if you want to pre-order, you can get um, a small packet of recipes, three really important recipes. Hey, Rachel, thank you very much um, that are in a packet that will be sent to you electronically uh, once you order. For those of you who already pre-ordered and haven't got them, there's a link on my Facebook page and you can go. <laughs> oh, Shelly, thank you. And you can go there and you can order and it'll be sent to you. Uh, and this will be out on the 11th, as will the audio book and... Um, there's the audio sample on Facebook. And anyway, I just wanted to share this. I mean, all you guys are wishing me wonderful things and, and thank you. And uh, I don't know. I mean, does anyone have any questions? I don't, I don't know what to do. I just, I needed to share this with someone and I'm alone right now because the one's not here and no one's around me. So I just thought I'm going to go to you guys. And it's great because there's some family members here like Shelly and stuff. So it's kind of nice to have that. Um, <coughs> Gary, it is a big damn deal. It, and actually, I mean, I even, my editor was kind enough to send me two copies. I have two copies. So I can, I can just like look at them and read them in stereo. Um, hey, Angel. Uh, oh gosh. So I don't know. I, uh, there's not much more I can say. I guess there's 28 of you and, and, and I don't know. I don't know. Where's, is Kate McDermott on or someone who does these things? I don't know how long to stay on. Excuse me. I get snot everywhere. That was gross, but I had to get rid of the snot. Um, anyway, um, I'm just incredibly happy. And hi, Risa. And I'm incredibly proud of myself. And I'm incredibly lucky. And, you know, I have a lot of doctors to thank, especially one uh, my Lyme doctor, who actually is getting me through this while I had all this terrible, <laughs> it's not a good thing, to, good time to say goodbye, it probably is. And um, so I'm, I'm very grateful for that, that I've gotten through this. Hi, Fernando. Thank you. Hi, Monica. Um, so anyway, I don't want to stretch this out longer than it has to be. Everyone, please, thank you so much for all um, 50 comments so far. Bob Carey. Oh, Bob Carey, by the way, remember, you've seen this all, that incredible photograph that does not look at all like me. I look far younger, far more beautiful with skin of, 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 of silk. That was Bob Carey. So, um, 
wonderful, wonderful job. He's also the photographer on the um, the Happy Sad Banana. He did that too. Um, <laughs> thank you. Hi, Sandra. <clears throat> Again, I don't want to stretch this out longer than it has to be, although I think I am stretching it out longer than it has to be. Um, I, I love you all, and I appreciate all of you having been there with me on this journey, and we have just a little bit more of a push to get it out there, which is the 11th. Uh, any of you are in New York, I, I mean, uh, New York on the 13th. The book launches on the 11th, but the we have a launch event at Barnes & Noble on the Upper East Side on the 13th. So if you happen to be around... Please come. I would love to see you right now. Where Dan Harris, ABC anchor and uh, journalist, is going to be interviewing me about the book, which will be wonderful. Hey, thank you, KN. Thank you, Bob. You're welcome, uh, David Leibovitz. I know it's here, David. It's here, and David wrote a beautiful quote. David Leibovitz said, "An honest look at overcoming a life fraught with anguish and obstacles." Notes on a banana is the brutally forthright story of a man who found love. And finally, his calling in the kitchen. Thank you, David Leibovitz. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that lovely, lovely quote. Um, and and so that's it. Thank you all. <sighs> I'll, I'll talk to you later. And if you have any questions about the book, uh, any questions about anything with the book, my schedule, the schedule has been posted. Uh, I'm going all over the place. I'm going to be in Florida. I'm going to be in Tulsa. I'm going to be in Chicago for the Printer Row, Printer's Row, a bunch of places in New England, Providence a lot. Um, we used to go like, David, I've watched your career grow since cookbooks, etc. Oh my gosh, that's a long time ago. Since you wrote your Portuguese cookbook, I know this is going to be doing wonderful. Thank you so much. Anyway, everyone, you take care. Thank you so much. Thank you for being there. Uh, it's going to be nice to have a record of me really just finding these books and opening these books. So uh, I love you all. Thank you. <laughs>